Oh my god! Please, no! Oh. Oh. <laughs> my heart. It's not over. No, of course it's not. It's only level 99. I just want to cry. I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it so hard. I'm done for. I'm done for. I'm done for. I can't make it. Someone else play for me. I just wanted to be able to fly, not cry. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my Final Fantasy Reaction Series. My name is Tara if you don't know me, and today we're continuing the MSQ with level 99. We are nearly at the end of Dawn Trail, of the base expansion, and I don't know how they're gonna fit everything that they need to fit in, in time before the end. I have a feeling that the story arcs like Kryle's parents are gonna be left for post patches and leading into whatever comes next that way. I think Base Dawn Trail is just going to deal with Zeralja and that'll be it. Other than that, I've been loving what we've been experiencing so far in this in Solution 9 and everything sur surrounding it. But yeah, I'm just excited to see where we go from here, so let's get right back into it. Lots of people are dead because of my father, aren't they? Nodders. That's... And Otis. He's gone too, isn't Otis. he? My beloved, you were gone way too soon. I wish we had met him sooner. I'm sorry. My father is a bad man. That's why you're going to kill him, aren't you? Oh, sweetheart. Forget it. I don't care anymore. Oh. Listen to me, Golocha. I love that she got down on his level to communicate with him. That's such an attentive thing to do. You're right. We're going to confront your father. Confront. Perhaps not kill. We'll see. He invaded Tulihyola and hurt my people. As vow of resolve, it's my duty to bring him to justice. Don't you think of him as family anymore? After the attack, I was filled with rage. I told myself over and over that he's no brother of mine. But it isn't so simple. No matter what I feel or say, all those years I spent striving to live up to his example, they won't just disappear. What's more, it's because we're family that we have to correct each other when someone goes astray. Suraja might be a little bit too far astray, but I get your message, honey. I get you. That's why I must confront my brother. Like your grandfather did. Even though it cost him his life. But... Otis is gone now. If my father was gone too, then... I'd have no one. But... Auntie Wuklamad is right there. What are you saying, Golja? Take a look around. <sighs> you have us, Gulucha. All of us. We'll be with you. Through thick and thin. You're not alone. You'll never be alone again. <laughs> Gulucha is so cute, I can't- No, he's crying! <laughs> Little bean, oh my god. Music? Holy- during your confrontation with him, Zoralja bade Wuklamat come to the tower's summit. Problem is, the elevators have been locked down to the, due to the state of emergency. What's in this place? That's the Origenics, the facility where souls are separated and refined for use. The salient point is that the facility extends vertically from the 1st to the 11th level. Now, if Zoralja intends to strengthen himself with the people's souls, as we strongly suspect, then the facility will be operating to process and transport those souls directly to him on the 12th level. So in order to reach Zoralja, we make our way through Orogenix. Precisely. Hold it. Before you set off, I have to ask. Oh boy. All this time, 
You've known that Sphine is an Endless, haven't you? Yes, we have. Why didn't you tell us? Honestly, it didn't seem relevant to the matters at hand. More complicated to explain than it was worth, and a distraction from our efforts to deal with Zeralja. Speaking of which, we should get moving. Those who are sallying forth, we gather in front of the tower. And we'll ask your question! We can count on you to provide support from here, yes? Of course. Erinville! You know that she died, so you must have burning questions! Oh, Erinville! Open up, buddy! Just a little bit, please! Let's keep our minds on the mission for now. Other matters can wait. <laughs> but it's such an important matter to you! Ooh, the music! A beast! Oh no, that's the fresh cargo for beast souls. That's dark. Oh god damn, the music though. The music though. I see you've arrived. Oh, I can't read the rest of that because portrait's in the way. I see you've arrived. Follow the path and you'll soon see the entrance. Be careful now. Understood? Right. Let's do this. Let's go! Do I forgot tank stance! I forgot tank stance! That's mine, please! That's mine! Thank you! Come on! Warning, resources have escaped! Moving to recapture. Now hold on. I kinda don't wanna tank any of these. I kinda wanna let them fight and see how it works out! <laughs> The music is so good! Hang on, I'm obsessed! So many regulators. They all used to belong to someone. A chilling sight. It's heartbreaking just to look at. <gasps> oh, these would be the ones that they pulled off the deck! Oh, that's creepy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh, wait, information terminal. Row upon row of names are shown on the terminal display. It appears to be a list of those who were recently taken to the cloud. Might Namika be among them? Oh, that's dark. Herp Herpicaris. Herpes Car Caris. Herpes Carrots. All right, let's go. <laughs> it looks a lot like that... That one boss from uh, Shadowbringers in, I think, the first dungeon you do? Something home? Home keep? Something? I can't remember the name. Vaso Constrictor. Ooh. That looks like delicious jelly. Oh, that's so cool! That's so cool! I like how it squished the jelly! I like it. I like it. That wasn't too bad. Nice little fun fight. The model really reminds me of that one dungeon though. Choker of bending? Stop. <laughs> what is this? That's, that's kind of cute. <laughs> we put it on. <gasps> Fake wall! We just walk through. Whoa! Warning, please present identification. Failure to comply will result in the use of force. That's okay, I'll forgive you. Oh no, is that a bunch of the souls? Waiting for packaging? Oh no. I don't like it, it makes me sad. More lore. Priority observation subject. Identification number 161127. Name, Namika. Physical cessation age 86. Why is this a priority observation? Citizen memory erasure completed. Corporeal disposal completed. Corporeal. Ether extraction completed. Namika. So is Namika in here? Oh, it's so sad, dude. It's so beautiful and sad. 
Those are all people's souls. They're supposed to be going back to the sea, dude. According to our data, this is where the souls are stripped of memories. In this tank, right? Indeed, the souls are the white matter. They're being sent to Zeralja. <gasps> and the memories are the yellow. So the memories are actually going somewhere. They're not just saying that they're going somewhere. The memories are in fact going somewhere. Looks like they knew we were coming. Deceiver. Some kind of machine. Interesting. This machine reminds me of one of the bosses from um, the mock raids, the mock eye raids. What were they again? I'm so bad with, with names. I can almost never recall something by its name alone. <laughs> There's lines on the floor. There's probably gonna be straight line attacks. Deploying support units. Initiating covering fire. Ah, and there's fake ones. It's very scary, but there are fake ones. Whew, okay. Oh, and now we have ads. I love the fake out with some of them. Because it looks intimidating. And so if you're not paying attention, you'll probably panic. Oh. We want to get pushed into an actual physical turret, don't we? Yes, we do. Ooh, okay. That was a fun fight. Not too mechanically difficult. <gasps> it's, a, it's a turtle with the, with the solution to helmet. This is too cruel. A giant enemy tortoise. It appears to be enhanced with Electro. The giant enemy tortoise comment feels like the giant enemy crab joke from like yesteryear. Origenix Automa toys. No, it's so cute. I like its little boots. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa? What? What is the, what's that goopy thing you got in the middle there that is beating? Innovation's excess. Ambrose the Undeparted. What's that weird goopy? I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Filthy rebels, you will not reach the king. My psychokinesis will bring you to your knees. Oh, I see, I understand. There are lines on the floor, would you look at that? Very cool. Ah, uh, what? Extrasensory field. <gasps> oh, I see, okay. So it fling us in direction and sometimes it would fling off if not careful. Understood. I really like that the cages haven't been like re-sealed. The empty ones are still empty. Also, what is happening with those lines? I should have been paying attention. That was scary. I definitely should have been paying attention from the start. <laughs> Cool though. Very cool. Stick them with the pointy end. Wait, stick them with the pointy end. What is that for? Is that Paladin level 100? There's no way I'm 100. I am level 100. Oh, okay, that went fast. <laughs> what the, I just hit 99 for MSQ. It's not opening. Hmm. Shield. Can you see to the lock? Hacker voice. Just I'm in. Hmm. Ever reliable. Follow the passage inside and you'll come to an elevator. It'll take you to the 11th level. Right. Let's keep moving. So we don't have access to the sixth area yet. Is this dungeon going to pop us out into the sixth area? Oh, <gasps> you know it's bad because it's red. The 11th level, just below the summit. Who's there? Huh? Excuse me? Did they just follow us in? I, I guess they did. And Yishtola and Estinian too! Estinian, thank you for being in my MSQ, finally! Lest you wonder, all is well in Taral. The enemy has withdrawn, freeing us up to come and lend you a hand. Hell yeah! The backroom crew gave us a briefing. No rest for the righteous as usual, eh? <laughs> the idea of empowering oneself with souls is rather reminiscent of void sent practices. Mm -hmm. I should be keen to learn more about the process. After more pressing matters have been resolved. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I believe I speak for everyone when I say I'm glad you're here. As you'll have heard, the Alexandrians have suffered heavy casualties. We must stop Zeralja before it gets any worse. Onward to the summit! I thank you for coming with me this far, my friends. And I ask you to lend me your strength one last time. Together, let us defeat Zorolja and safeguard the future of Tulihyola. But it's only level 99. What's going to happen? We haven't hit zone 6 and it's only level 99. Huh? I'm scared. I'm scared. Is that a void gate? What is that? What in the world is that? It couldn't be a void gate. There's no way. It's enormous. Aye, it dwarfs even the ones Aromas opened. How did they do it? That is no void gate. It doesn't lead to the 13th. Where does it go? Then... Yes, in all likelihood, it's a portal to yet another reflection. An another? <laughs> There's only like five left or something. By the 12th. To think that reality is being fused together was only the beginning. Oh my god. The speculation must wait. He's here. We're just going to be dealing with all the reflections. What the heck? Oh my god. As if he has like a throne to sit on. What a D-bag. He looks exhausted. There is a limit to how much ether a living being can harbor while retaining its physical form. Mm. Zeralja has far exceeded that limit. I see. With the souls he has absorbed, he has attained power to rival even a king among void scent, but at a terrible cost. Twelve have mercy. Brother! It ends here and now. How oh, it vexes when you call me Brother. Brother. Blood heir. Resilient son. Who am I? What is my path? Why was I born? I am Wuklamat. Vow of Resolve of Tuli Hyolo. And you are Zorolja, King of Resolve of Alexandria. For the last time, we fight for duty, for blood, for everything. Yes, we fight. Oh, it's like Hold in his... nothing back. This multitude of souls I shall burn to the last moat. Oh my god. It kind of looked like I he was spent. I will kill you and prove the miracle. I will prove that I am father's true successor. Oh, the music is intense too. Holy crap. Oh my god. Okay. What an arena for this trial, dude. Known as the resilient son for the miracle of his birth, the first promise Zoralja was driven solely by the desire to prove his worth. So it was that he had embarked upon the path of conquest, but it led to him nowhere save to an empty summit. 
Having failed to win the throne and surpass his father, he remains consumed by his obsession and has devoured the souls of his own people in a bid to achieve his end. For the sake of not only Tuliolo, but the entire star, you must put an end to the struggle of, of this tormented man. Here we go. He's gonna, like, have some crazy phase two where he's just monstrous, isn't he? Come at me with your all. I will make you kneel. Whoa! <gasps> Wait, are these living what people? Are these? The first promise was born to sit the throne. He will be a great dawn servant. Way. He's hallucinating. Is this my weakness given shape? Oh, they explode, okay. Oh, these swords are getting closer. Eek! That's a cool attack. Oh, they're still going. Oh, they're traveling back outward. Oh no, two Voln stacks. Uh, ooh, come on, would you like to tank swap? I got two Voln stacks. <laughs> no limits will find me. Oh, the swords again. They're gonna get me. <laughs> no, I walked right into it. <laughs> no, I got two again. <laughs> Three. Help, Wukamat, tank swap! <laughs> Ooh! No. Even though it's a this hallucination, don't. My path. Irredeemable. Irredeemable. I trust only in myself. No. Nope. Irredeemable, Zeralja. Twisted. Okay, my Von stacks are gone. I can safely tank again. This power is proof of my authority. Dawn of an age. Does he have a second head growing out of his shoulder? I didn't even notice. Distorted world comes into synchronity. Oh, I didn't even realize the arena behind us. Oh my god, that's what he's sinking to! Oh, that's so cool! I didn't know where the attacks came from the last time. Uh, what? Spatial distortions. What's happening? What's happening over there? I'm scared of it. He's grabbing something. Oh, but they're gonna move. I understand, I understand. They're gonna follow the line. Oh my God, they're making me do math. Okay, that's gonna end up here. That's gonna end up there. I'm safe right in the middle. I love this. I love this. <laughs> I love Wukuma being like, I have no idea what I'm looking at, because same. Mine is a path. This will hurt. Oh my god. My Please, no. 
Oh, I'm so stressed. Uh, there's there's no way. There's no way. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Stay calm. There. And there. Uh, here. And there. Right here. Right here first. This will hurt. And then there and there. And there and here. Right here. No mercy. Oh my god, I'm too slow. I'm too slow. That was so scary. <laughs> this is terrifying. Uh, like, there, there's an extreme version of this, right? How are you supposed to do that math that quickly? Oh, please just end it. Please, my brain is already fried. Oh, okay, I'm free. That was so much fun. Holy crap. I like that he's like, a partially, partially grown another head. Like it's so disgusting, but cool looking. Oh man, that was so much fun. That was an incredible fight. Pant, pant, not quite dead yet. He's gonna have some words to say before he goes, I'm sure, but. What a cool design, what a cool fight. I dread doing this on extreme though. <laughs> I really dread it. It's gonna be chaos. Brother. So, it is to be defeat. Oh, why would you bring Galulja here, <laughs> you psychos? You crazy people! Father, is that you? Because it hurts. Because I don't understand why it had to be this way. Why don't I know you? Oh. Why didn't you want me? Oh. Oh. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> like a dagger straight in the heart. Oh, God. How could I be a father? <sighs> When my own spanned me, he left me nothing. No throne, no legacy, nothing. And so, I had nothing to leave you. Why does that matter? Couldn't you have just... In there. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sob, dude. I can't, Gulja. <sighs> you ask a lost man for the way. I do not presume to call you mine, nor do I desire anything of you. Would I leave behind that which I've gained by the sweat on my brow? It is yours to embrace or span. His throne? <laughs> Damn it, Final Fantasy, I do feel a little bad for him. <laughs> if only for the fact that he felt like he couldn't be the father that Gululja deserved. Because he felt he had nothing to give him. 
What a sad, sad, tormented man. Are those souls returning to the sea? Please tell me they are. left you nothing? <laughs> you god's damned fool! You have the one thing he couldn't leave anyone else. You and Kalulja. Physical touch, dude. That is my weakness. That is my weakness. It's not over. Oh, of course it's not. It's only level 99. All right, Sveen. You got some splaining to do, my girl. Zoroja is gone. There's no need to fight anymore. Sveen? Sveen? Why Sveen. are you here? Sveen! I wanted to express my gratitude to you all for vanquishing the King of Resolve and delivering my people. And to express my regret for what I've done to yours. Your apologies won't bring back our dead or lessen your guilt. Still, to strike you down in revenge would trigger all-out war between our nations. More innocents would suffer. Even if we cannot be friends right now, we need to find a different path forward. A way that Tulihyola and Alexandria can coexist. I fear that can never be. I do not like that the entire background behind her is black. I think she blinked when I tried to take a picture of her. <laughs> Why is the red creeping up behind her? What do you mean? There is no other path for us. It's too late. Explain. I cooperated with Zeralja because I needed the life force yielded by the slain to sustain the Endless. Of course, the king betrayed me, and with his army defeated, that plan can no longer be realized. So what then for your people? But... I can't. I won't fail my people. Be they possessed of flesh or no, all of them are dear to me. Sveen? If there is something I can do for them, oh, as their queen, no. I must do it. Uh, panic! Panic! Hear me, Sveen. We appreciate your commitment to serving the Alexandrians and have endeavored to understand your beliefs. Be that as it may, you must know it's wrong to sacrifice our living to save your dead. But she doesn't feel that they're dead because they have I their see. memories. It's because you do not know them that you believe they're dead. Yeah. They're not. So long as they are remembered, they shall never die. Oh, gosh. You understand, don't you? No matter what anyone may say, I refuse to believe that Kafkiwa's is a hollow existence. That she can simply be allowed to fade away. Oh. Your Majesty. Of course she was an Endless. 
We should have met her, like, form by now. Her actual form. I... am the bearer of the memories of Queen Sphene of Alexandria. And my desire to protect my people transcends all others. There must be another way, Sphene. For them, I will do anything. No price is too high. No. <sighs> is she going to mess with this other reflection now? What is it? We thought it was a key. There exists a legend in Alexandria. In ages past, faced with a calamity in their world, a clan of people used a singular power to flee to ours. Faced with a calamity in their world, a clan of people used a singular power to flee to ours. I had to read that again to really log it in my mind. So. A section of a previous Umbral Calamities civilization flee fled to Alexandria? The key which manifests this power answers to fervent desires. Desperate, all-consuming supplications that have given rise to many a miracle. Sounds not unlike a primal. That key holds the secret to interdimensional fusion, and unraveling its mysteries was the foremost mission of the scientists of preservation. Alas, they failed to fully grasp its workings, leaving us with only partial control over it. Nevertheless, if I'm to sustain the inhabitants of living memory, living memory. I have no choice but to call upon its power. So, they do have a San Junipero <laughs> from Black Mirror. They do have a place called Living Memory where their dead go to live as memories. And do what with it? For hundreds of years I tried, but it was all to no avail. My benevolence did naught to protect my realm. But I can still take up arms and fight. Speed, no! <laughs> no! If bloodshed will save my subjects, then I will become history's most brutal queen. Speed, no! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Wait. Where is Sphine actually located? Oh, was that Sphine? My sentiments exactly. Kafkiwa? Her connection to her body was lost. Did we move reflections? Where are we? Are we still on the source? What's happening? <laughs> oh my god! Those who come came from my village, none of them remembered her. So she was she had to have been a part of living memory, right? But then how did she get out of living memory? It's the same as what we witnessed happen to those who knew Namika. Then Kafkiwa is... You noticed something, didn't you? 
Whatever it is, please tell me. While Sveen projected herself onto machines, Kafkiwa controlled hers remotely, but to me, they appeared identical in their existence. Both were inorganic objects suffused with faint amounts of ether. When that ether faded, they became lifeless husks. And as we all saw, this happened to both the moment the portal closed. So Kafkiwa was operating her vessel from the reflection beyond. But if none of her friends and acquaintances here remember her, then... Kafkiwa is an endless too. All this time, my mother was dead. She fooled us all. Dead asterisk. Dead asterisk, I feel. We have to go to where Sveen has gone. I want to talk to her again, and perhaps we'll find Kafkiwa as well. With the gate closed, we need to find an alternate means of passage. I will look into it. Let me help. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Anything at all. Of course, my friend. Your knowledge and expertise would be most welcome. You've more than done your part for now, so leave this to us. Man, my brain is buzzing. I wonder if when she talked about people fleeing from another reflection, if it was always a different reflection that they came from and fled to Alexandria and just joined the people there. Or, <laughs> like, I'm confused, genuinely, and shocked. I, I feel like the post-patches are definitely going to be dealing with multiple reflections, if not just the two that we've encountered here. So much has happened, and so quickly. I'm still catching up mentally. Me too, Wuklamat. Apologies for the wait. You're all here, th then that means... I. we believe we found a way to travel to the reflection to where Sveen has retreated. It is Sveen's homeworld, and she has returned there to join the memories of her departed citizens. One thing that was a little bit confused when Sveen was talking, she said long ago, people from another reflection fled to her city with that key. So is the reflection that she's on the part that these other civilization fled to, or was it her civilization that fled to that part? That's what I'm a little like foggy on. We're dealing with two separate reflections, right? Is the original one Sphines, or is the second one that was fled to not Sphines and somebody else's? I'm like, it was so fast and I didn't quite get a grip on it. How do we pursue Sphine if the gate here is closed? We use another gate and it just so happens we know, oh, oh, the gate in the Golden City. Or well, the Golden City, quote unquote. The Sky Deep Cenote. I actually forgot about that gate. <laughs> Aye, all evidence suggests that the gate there leads to the world whence the Alexandrians and I came. How can we open it? That is what we shall find out using the code in this earring. I was hoping it was a note from her parents, but right then. It seems the plan is set to the Sky Deep Cenote. I really hoped that the thing on the earring was from Kral's parents. If only for the catharsis of it, you know? <laughs> but a code to the Golden City is still fantastic. We take what we can get. Begging your pardon, Tara, but might I have a moment ere setting forth? Oh, you're already going to give him the thing. Oh, the thing! Oh, hell yeah. We full pallet and armor. Very cool. Electro everywhere one turns. Harboring vast amounts of lightning. This place is very much alive. Oh, I wonder how it like looks through Stola's eyes. It must look crazy. Kryl, try holding your earring to the terminal. Huh? Red? That's a bad sign. Red means bad. <laughs> Don't give up yet. The terminal reads the code. It might just need higher clearance. Gulja, would you give it a try? Because he's the ruler? Me? If the king's authority is passed to you, then the gate ought to open. Interesting. I was gonna, like, ask why we brought Gulja here, but now it's a good thing that we did. <laughs> you can do it, little buddy. You hold that earring. Ooh, what? yellow. Ooh. Oh, what's it going to look like on the other side? Will it also be suffused with a golden glow, I wonder? I wonder if it'll look like Solution 9 or if it'll look like this. Me first, me first! Go sprinting through! <laughs> I 
can't get over how cute Galuja is. He's like an adorable little velociraptor. Remarkable. A void gate is forced open with a blast of ether, and thus appears as a tear in the fabric of reality. In contrast, this is the stitchwork of a master. Neatly hemmed, without a thread out of place. A power to be reckoned with. I wonder why it was so violent the first time when Kral's parents came through, and now it's so stable. But now isn't the time to marvel. If Galuljar can open the gate, then so too can Sveen close it. It would be wise to employ magics in its defense, both to maintain its stability and ward off interference. While I am able to invoke said magics, I cannot sustain them alone. I require another to channel with me, and in unison. You can have... Uh, Rianche, I guess? I'm not happy, but you're not having Graha. Graha's coming with. Oh. For that role, I do humbly volunteer myself. Thank you, but Ariyashi. even our combined efforts offer no certainty of success. Might we prevail upon the two of you to lend your support? My children! No! Of course. If coordination between mages is required, few would be better suited than Alizé and myself. No! <laughs> I got Graha, but at what cost? Shall I remain as well? No, 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 no. Come. While your presence would be welcome, I'd rather you joined the expedition team. Oh, thank God. <laughs> For despite our earnest efforts, the gate may well end up closed once more. Mm. And then if we're trapped... In such a situation, it may fall to those on the other side to devise a method to reconnect our worlds. A task with which you are not unfamiliar, as I recall. Correct. I have faith it will not come to that, but should it? I will endeavor not to disappoint. I'll make myself useful here by no. guarding those who are maintaining the gate. No! <laughs> Half our party staying behind! Should any threats emerge from the world beyond or otherwise, I'll deal with them. As will I. No! <laughs> Stidian, why are you so scared of being in my MSQ? <sighs> Which leaves you free to head in there and do what you do best. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I knew it was too good to be true. The gang all be in here. Alize would like humor in this situation. Make sure we can return while we're still young and beautiful, eh? It's fine. Really. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Alize has been like. Just don't let him bear the burden alone. Do you hear? Alize has been such good big sister energy for Wuklamat. I'm sad to see her hang behind in the end. Such an itty bitty party we're going in with. Beyond lies an unknown reflection. Short of asking an Asian, we unfortunately have no way of identifying which one it is. True enough. Well, what we do know is that it's Sveen's domain place where she brings back those who've been lost. So for now, why don't we call it The Unlost World. The Unlost World. Cool. I wonder if that's a reference to something. Almost every title in this game is a reference to another Final Fantasy game. In we go! Oh, I'm anxious. Oh, I'm I'm very I'm very anxious. My wee little heart is a pounding. It's a fluttering. Oh. 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 Is that entire building Sphine? Wow. What? The Golden City, indeed. How to describe the sheer amazement we felt when we emerged on the other side of the portal? I fear words do not do it justice. Before <gasps> us was a vibrant world where the memories of the departed abided and reveled in bygone days. Living memory, or so the Antlers called it. 
how they laughed and smiled as they reminisced upon unfulfilled dreams. The gay pools are amazing. Alive in all perceivable ways, yet knowing no loss. So resplendent was every ilm of this paradise. The words rose unbidden to my lips. All this time, it was here, the city of gold. Yeah. Wow, it's so beautiful. Living memory. It is so beautiful. Wow. I love this little, like, amusement park down here. Holy cow. Also, just an active volcano? I guess. That's fine. This is my world. My home. If the people are endless, is it possible her parents are still alive? I didn't even think about that. I had a lot of comments on one of my previous videos where the music was very Final Fantasy IX inspired. I'm assuming this that we have in the background is also very um, Final Fantasy IX inspired. It's beautiful. It's strange. Though I've never been to this place before, it somehow makes me feel nostalgic. Welcome, friends. Welcome. My name is Constancy, and like you, I am an Endless. We have been recreated from the memories of those who have exhausted their souls, the departed, in other words. Great effort is taken to ensure the integrity of your memories, so it will feel no different from when you were flesh and blood. Let's go along with it for now. Oh god. So they do have a San Junipero! Simply put, it is a recreational attraction. The city is divided into four areas, each of which captures scenery that once defined our continent. In this way, we ensure that what is lost is not forgotten, that all precious memories endure forevermore. In Everkeep's early days, this place was used by the living, but it was made a haven for the endless hundreds of years later. Dude, what an afterlife! It's like, it's like Disney World or something! Imagine this being your afterlife, where you get to live out the rest of your days. What? I, I feel weird calling it an afterlife, because they're just, they're copies of who they once were. Do we regard that as something living? If you're just a collection of memories? I feel like yes, because I've experienced enough media where the these themes are pursued and questioned, and I always feel like I come to the same conclusion that I feel like they're alive, despite only being like a collection of memories. Because that's what humans are, if you really think about it, right? We're a collection of the experiences we've had throughout our lives. I love that each of the gates had an element, like you can see the water gate, the wind gate, fire, and earth, and then it seems like each of the regions are based around whichever elemental gate you went through. That's such a cool design. Sphine? Are you there? Sphine, we've come to bargain. We need to talk. Oh no, the words you never want to hear. We need to talk. <gasps> Sphine. Hmm, that you should come here. I haven't known you long, Sphine, but I know you have a good heart. Your love for your people is proof of this. I can't let you do what you're trying to do. And deep down, I don't think you want to do it either. I want a world without suffering. A world where nothing is lost. Would that such a place existed. But the endless only grow in number and ever more life force is needed to sustain them. Life force is sustaining them. Is that where they're getting their ether from, rather than the environment? Within the barrier, we have managed to curb the cycle of rebirth these few hundred years. But we've reached the limit. That is why I looked to interdimensional fusion. To harvest what we needed from your world, from your people. And with the key, we will have it. But I think I've asked this before. To what end? You get more ether to supply your people. They continue to die and you add more and more endless 
and then you need more ether. There's a finite number of reflections left, a finite n amount of ether. It's unsustainable. You have to allow death. once you've plundered our world of ether, what then? Will you do the same to others? Exactly, Graha. All men eventually die. If you make endless of everyone, you will never have enough ether to sustain them. You but prolong the inevitable. Thank you, Graha, for echoing the words I just said. <laughs> Sveen, if you would nevertheless persist in this folly, we must stand against you. For we too have people we cannot lose. Places to which our hearts belong. Lamachi, I would have loved nothing more than to work hand in hand with you to tend our nations. So why not try now? Why is it so hopeless for you? But fate is cruel. By the time it had brought us together, our futures had already been written. I'm frustrated. <laughs> I'm frustrated by Sveen's point of view. The kind and gentle Queen Sveen was too weak to serve her people. And so she will serve them no more. I will erase all memories of the living Sveen. She who has cursed me with this soft and powerless nature. We've seen this before. Not in this game. I don't want to spoil anything, but if you know, you know of an AI that wants to get rid of its human side. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Freed from conscience, I shall become a ruler that can protect Alexandria. A devourer of worlds. When two nations cannot protect their own without doing harm to the other, there can only be one resolution. It is a hard truth. But one you understand, don't you? I'm afraid we're out of time. The process has begun, and it cannot be stopped. Really? No way! Just like that. Meso terminal memory deletion in progress. Meso terminal memory deletion in progress. Upon completion, interdimensional fusion will commence. <gasps> Speed! Holy! Such a beautiful area to become so dark! I am become Speed, devourer of worlds! Holy! How can this be the only solution? The caretaker, Constancy. Perhaps he can tell us more about his this business of Sveen going into a slumber. But Sveen just told us of this business of Sveen going into a slumber. Hello? She said she's going to delete, like, her conscience. Like, the human aspects of herself. Remove it from her po programming so she can just be cold and calculated and do what's necessary for her people, which is chomping on other worlds and their ether and their souls. Hello? Wuklama, did we just see the same speech? <laughs> Looking for someone, are you? Yes, he was here just earlier, a fellow named Constancy. Wait, what? Kafkiwa! Hello everyone, you made it here as I knew you would. Is that who I think it is? It is, it's Kafkiwa! Feast your eyes then! She who was controlling that unassuming machine was a ravishing Shatona maiden. That was a bit much, wasn't it? Ignore me. I love her. <laughs> so it was true that you're here means... I tried to tell you so many times, but my courage always failed me. I am indeed an endless, have been for quite a while now. Now, you've come to stop Sveen, yes? I can help with that, but I have a request to make. You know how to stop her, then? While there are no guarantees, your coming here makes it a distinct possibility. As my wish is relevant to your mission, will you hear me out? You can decide what to do afterwards. I want to crack Aaronville open 
and like kiss all his emotional boo-boos. I know that's a weird way to say that, but like he's still just holding everything in. You know, he's not letting himself feel and be ups as upset as he should be. I'm sorry, it's just she's gone. Yet to see her and hear her carrying on like nothing's... I don't know how to feel. I mean, being confused makes sense. Oh my god! That looks so fun! That's them. The people Sveen strives to protect. They look happy. And their happiness is our happiness. So, so, what's this request of yours? Oh, oh. How did I know that was... How did I know that was... I want you to erase us. Erase the endless. Oh no! I don't want it to go this way, but it has to, doesn't it? What if we give everyone an option? What if we give everyone an option who's tired of being endless instead of just like forcing it on them? Which is like, it's kind of genocide a little bit. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, come now. Spare me those gloomy faces. Being alive, you're the only ones who can do this, and we won't have a better opportunity than now. It's wrong to sacrifice others to sustain the Endless, this I firmly believe. But talking to you now, you seem as real as any of us. Is there a reason we need to act so soon? Oh, if Sveen doesn't have anyone to protect, then she won't carry out, especially if she's without conscience, she won't carry out acts to save people that aren't there if she's just cold hard machine. In the beginning, we managed with the ether of those who died in the barrier, but as our numbers grew, there began to be a shortage. That's why Queen Sveen looked to other sources. Even the ether I'm composed of may have come from the victims of the attack on Tuliola. I can't bear that thought. Can't bear to exist because someone died. In each zone, there's an enormous data storage device called a terminal. That is where our memories are kept. If you shut down a terminal, the memories within will disappear, along with those- Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> along with those endless created from them. But does this need to be done now? Can't we stop Sveen first, and then take it from there? It's precisely in order to stop Sveen that it must be done now. Her own memories are stored within the Meso Terminal, which stands at the heart of living memory. The terminal's defenses are extremely tight, but it has moments of vulnerability, such as when it has just finished calculations, which we can exploit to shut it down from within. While we wait for that opening, we erase the Endless. Once we are gone, Sveen will no longer have a reason to plunder Aether from other worlds. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Would Sveen simply allow us to shut down the terminals? In preparation for fusion, the Meso Terminal is currently performing massive calculations while gathering energy. Even if the system notices us, it cannot easily suspend the process. It wouldn't be a decision Sveen would wish to make, but she would be able to save those who are stored in the Meso Terminal, at least. There is sense in your strategy, but to actually talk about erasing the Endless is difficult. You needn't feel any guilt. No matter how lifelike we may seem, we Endless are but facsimiles crafted from memories. Besides, stopping Sveen requires that you shut down the Meso Terminal, which sustains all of us. Sooner or later, it will need to be done. If we are to be erased, then let it be before more people come to harm. Living, breathing people with futures they deserve to experience. I don't want you to go. I'm saying this for Aaronville's sake because Aaron Bill won't say it himself. <laughs> well, I appreciate the thought. We can't afford to miss this chance. Do this for me, will you? There has to be another way. I'm afraid not. We spent years scouring preservation's records, but found nothing. It's truly a bothersome system they've created. <laughs> we'll do as you ask. Thank you for respecting my wish. And as a personal request, while her actions cannot be condoned, I ask that you afford Queen Sveen a measure of understanding. Know that she herself didn't choose to become an Endless. It was preservation that made the choice for her. She is powerless to resist her purpose. 
What do you mean? Her like prime directives, I'm sure. The Sphene you know is an ideal that preservation brought to life. Harnessing the love the living Sphene bore for her people, they brought forth an eternal queen whose primary directive is to preserve the Endless. What? Are you telling me the original Sphene wouldn't have chosen this? What the queen might have done, only she herself would know. But the scientists of preservation have vanished, leaving their created queen to walk alone. So as you go about your mission, Think not that you're stopping a ruthless villain, but rather that you're relieving a troubled soul of her burden. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> so sad, dude. All right, Kavkiwa, we understand now. Both your reasonings and your feelings. But before we erase the Endless, I'd like to know them. I'd like to know what she fights tooth and nail for. If we're going to reject someone's beliefs, let it be after we've come to understand them. This is a lesson I learned from the Rite of Succession. I realize we're pressed for time, but if it's alright with you, I want to meet as many people as I can. You truly are Galil Jaja's kitten. Well, the calculations will take a will take a while still. It should be fine if we do this as we proceed to the terminals. And much in the Yakui's teachings, they would oh. I'm so sad. They would live on through us if we remember them, right? Oh, I'm so sad. Whew. This is gonna be a rough little gauntlet. I'll leave it, uh. I'll leave you to it then. When you've finished here, come and find me at the fountain near that big clock tower. Right, let's split up and find some locals to speak with. Oh, dude, I just, oh, I just wanna cry. I'm fighting it! I'm fighting it so hard! It really is a lovely place. You should run along and enjoy it while you can. Oh, Erinville, please. Before it's too late. Oh my god. We do not know which terminal she's stored in. Oh. Dude, I just wanna- I just wanna sob. I just wanna sob so hard. But I have to push forward! Oh, it's so sad. As I've said, I've- consumed many a media that that delves into are we our memories or are we only our flesh and blood or a combination of both or what so i definitely view the endless as like living things despite them only being a collection of memories so this feels like despite it being necessary it still feels like wrong <laughs> i must say i'm starting to enjoy myself even if it's only brief this has the feel of a journey oh Dude, I'm just gonna cry the whole way. I'm just gonna cry the whole way. It's okay. Well, now, I don't believe I've seen you around here before. A newcomer, I take it. It's wonderful here. Let me tell you why I just bumped into a dear friend in life, and we've been whiling away the hours reminiscing. It might have been more like days, actually. You don't get a sense of the time here. By the way, did you hear the announcement earlier? As much as I love this place, I wonder if Queen Sphine can really sustain us forever. But I suppose there's no use worrying about such things. Anyway, thanks to you, we found a break in our conversation. We'll go and ride the gondola next. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. I hurt so much. Oh, hello there. Taking in the sights of Canal Town, are you? Both. My wife and I just adore this place. We had become estranged in life, she and I, but being here gave us the chance to reconcile. I couldn't be more grateful for the chance to spend these blessed little moments together again. I have no more regrets. Whether Her Majesty's plan succeeds or no, I can rest with peace in my heart. I'm done for. I'm done for. I'm done for. I can't make it. Someone else play for me. I can't survive. Well, we should continue on our way. But we hope to see you again. Till next time. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I can't make it. I can't make it. I hurt so bad. Holy cow. Graha. Graha, what's going on over here? The Endless seemed to eat the food with relish. But it couldn't be real, could it? Oh, I'm okay. I'm so glad we can be together again. Why are they doing this to me? This is so cruel. 
Oh, I don't know how many of these I'm gonna have to go through, but uh, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it, y'all. I'm not, it's uh, it's not gonna be doable for me. <laughs> At least I get to go for a gondola date with Graha. Maybe not everything is so sad and and bad. Stop! This is so romantic. Stop. <laughs> Actually going on a gondola date. How can you not ship the Warrior of Light and Graha together? Look at how cute they are on their little gondola date. Do you remember what I said to you before all this? Vaguely, I do. That life is a series of journeys. That you must be true to yourself. For indeed, there's no telling what awaits. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I certainly didn't expect to behold such sights. The future is as fluid as the water beneath us. Truly. Mm -hmm. Tell me, my friend. Have you ever wished to be reunited with someone who has passed away? Of course. I have. I do. But I think, above all else, I wish that they had lived. If only for one more day. Just one more day. A joyous one, if I could choose. I did all that I could to make it happen. I tried everything and spared nothing. In that manner, I was able to keep some few souls out of harm's way, but so, so many were beyond my power to save. What would I have done then, had I this? He totally understands where speed is coming from. And you, can you imagine yourself spending eternity here, knowing no loss? <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh, like her motives are so understandable especially seeing people in the afterlife um not the afterlife here in their afterlife getting to um, meet with people that they have regrets about or lost chances and getting a, a new chance at it of course i understand why sveen would want to preserve that but it's not sustainable <sighs> we've switched on the circuits like you asked thank you everyone hopefully this does the trick Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Yippee. Oh, no way. Oh, that's beautiful. Amazing. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I've ever personally been to a show that uses water like this. So I, I've never seen this in person. Only videos it's of it. It's beautiful. It really is. I've never seen anything like it. Look, Lamar! 
that? Namika? Where are you? Woklamat! By the gods, it's Namika. Begging your pardon, but I'm looking for a child. A small Shabrali girl. Have you seen her by chance? You... You are Namika, aren't you? It's me, Wuklamat. Don't you recognize me? They said that the system is smart, so it must know that Wuklamat is here. Like, maybe Sveen directly woke up Namika so that Wuklamat wouldn't follow through with stopping her. I wonder. It's all right. You found her. I'm here. You? Could it be? Uh, yes, Namika. You know these eyes, this voice. It's me, Utlamat. Oh! It is you! Oh, how silly of me! But if you're here, then that means... No, no. I'm still alive. Oh, good, good. Thank the gods for that. But what power has brought us together again? This isn't a dream, is it? It's a bit much to explain right now. <laughs> it's not a dream. Or rather, it is a dream come true. I so want to hear your voice one more time. <sighs> Just look at you, my Wuklamat. Stronger and more assured than I've ever seen. Oh. Such <laughs> hazards you must have braved, and hardships endured to come so far. <laughs> this hurts so bad. <laughs> it was tough, but I made it thanks to my friends. And to you, Namika. <sighs> I'm the person I am now because you always believed in me because you loved me as if I were your own daughter. Thank you. Thank you. You're everything I could have asked for. The best mother. Ah, I'm so glad. Looking back, I've had a blessed life. And it was because I was a part of yours. <laughs> when I lost my child to illness, I thought I'd never know happiness again. But it rekindled in my breast the instant you smiled your little smile at me. You became my purpose. My joy. Oh, my little heart. The reason she became old again is because their image takes on the moments of when they were happiest. And this is as old as she was when Wuklamat uh, came to see her before she was taken away. <laughs> and so, even though she may not have said anything, it was still one of the happiest moments for her. with you again and leave nothing unsaid. I know not how or why, but I am grateful. So grateful. Where you must go, I cannot follow. But know 
that I'll always be with you. Take care of yourself. Promise me. I will. Mama. Mama. I will. <sighs> and one day, we'll meet again. Hopefully next time in the Ethereal Sea, where you belong. <laughs> I understand why Sphinx cannot bear to let them go. Of course. But as painful as it is to part, we're meant to live and die. To let go and let others carry on in our stead. We can't cling to everything forever. Come. Let's keep moving. Life is meaningless without death, despite death being the worst part of life. <laughs> oh, that was so... My, my heart, dude. That was so beautiful. I need to just melt for a second. Before I continue, I'll see you in a minute. <sighs> oh, okay. <sighs> oh, I really hope Kafkiwa isn't connected to this terminal. I'm not ready. Just to make sure, Kafkiwa, <laughs> you're not going to disappear when we shut this terminal down, right? Not just yet. It's the Arrow Terminal in the Northwestern Zone that holds my memories. Aaronville, you know how long you have to say something now, okay? Once we reach that arrow terminal, you better get everything off your chest. Upon shutting down the hydro terminal, it will not be possible to restore Canal Town to its present form. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, I'm ready. What's it gonna look like? Like I'm not ready, but better now than never. It's important to let things go, starting with Canal Town. Sleep tight, everyone. <laughs> oh, we, we, we have we have three more of these. We have three more of these towers. Oh. <laughs> this hurts. I'd be lying if I said otherwise. But the only way now is forward. And remember, we Endless are but facsimiles crafted from memories. You needn't feel guilt for erasing us. Be that as it may, it's so hard to say goodbye. It is. Nonetheless, it's our duty as the living to know and remember them. So let's pull ourselves together and keep at it. Keep seeking them out. <gasps> Remembered. I just noticed that thing's name. That's so funny. <laughs> Tenacious tour guide. Hi, hi, buddy. There's nobody to give a, a tour to. You'll never guess what just happened. 
there I was, right in the middle of one of my tours, and my customers just up and vanished. There's nothing worse than not being able to see something through to the end. I need to do something with all this pent-up pep. I don't think I've ever given you the tour, so how about it? I promise I won't take up too much of your time. I know I ought not to ask, but what did you wish for? Um, to stop crying. <laughs> to get done what needs getting done. I see. Sounds like you have some weighty responsibilities. You know, I've given this tour countless times, but not once have I made a wish myself. And not because I pour scorn on the legends or anything like that. I just never got around to it. But thanks to you, I got to finish my tour. To mark the occasion, I think I might just toss a coin in. Now, as for my wish... If I had another chance at life, I'd want to connect with as many people as I could through my job. I worked here as a tour guide in my former life too, before it became a home for the endless. Living memory was open to living, breathing folk, seeking relaxation and revelry. Boy, did I guide a lot of people back then. I never tired of sharing my knowledge and hearing visitors' wonderful stories. I suppose that's why I took up the same job as an endless, and I'm proud of that. Proud of staying true to myself. Ah, but you didn't come to hear me harp on about my life. Thank you for sticking with me till, till the end. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. Here's hoping I wish this come true. <laughs> Farewell, my final customer. Damn you, Ether Current Quest. <laughs> How dare you rip out my heart? <laughs> I just wanted to be able to fly, not cry! <laughs> oh, hello there, mister. We're just talking about Sir Otis. Do you know him? He's a bit odd and doesn't get jokes, but he's really strong and can vanquish fiends in a flash. He's probably out there fighting right now. When I grow up, I want to be strong like him. Yeah. Yeah, Endless Boy, we know Otis. <laughs> The Sir Otis the children spoke of calls to mind another Otis. It might be worth seeking the man out to confirm his identity. Wait! How could Otis be here? Otis was put- Did they make a copy of Otis? Before putting him into- Before putting his soul into- Oh, I'm so excited. There's no way. There's no way. It is possible they made a backup of him before putting him into- the, the vessel that he was put into, though. But he wouldn't remember us, then. A man is engaged with, in battle with fiends. He may need a helping hand. Oh my god, it's Sir Otis. It is Sir Otis! My friend, even though you're not gonna remember me, I'm excited to see you once more. I know not who you are, but my thanks for your timely aid. Strong! <laughs> <laughs> Fiends such as these are naught to be feared. I love him. I love him so much. Well then, dealt with it already, have you? Be at ease, one and all. So long as I, Sir Otis, live and breathe, no citizen shall come to harm. Otis? <laughs> of all the people, could you really be that Otis? I'm certain I do not know what you mean by that, Otis. <laughs> I am who I am, and I should very much like to know who you are. We met you while searching for Gululja. You cooked a most delicious repast for us, fought beside us in Solution 9. He'd have no memory Gululja. of any of that. Job. Solution 9. I've never heard of such things. These events of which you speak are utterly unknown to me, as are you. I'm quite confident I would recall if we had met before. Could this be? <gasps> Villa! 
Villainy! Villainy! You seek to bewilder me for purposes most foul! Villainy! <laughs> no, no. No villainy intended. I swear. <laughs> this is definitely the Otis we know. Right? Yes, but they put him in before they put him in the vessel. Or they made a copy before they put him in the vessel, I mean. I say! What are you whispering about there? <laughs> Nothing! Nothing! Wait! Ah, I've no time for this! I must attend to my preparations for the founding celebration. The children begged and begged that I perform in the marquee play, and I cannot possibly disappoint them. I take my leave of you. Good day! Good day, Otis! I love him. I love him so much. I'm gonna marry that man before we erase him. We're meant to be together. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. A great conflict rages over precious Electro, and the Kingdom of Alexandria has been embroiled in the chaos. When the royal capital comes under siege, the Kingdom's valiant knights lay their lives on the line for their beloved Princess Sphine. I bid you keep your handkerchiefs at hand. Now, without further ado, It's a royal knight! I beg your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> what a twist! Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> Come on, Aaronville. <laughs> Edison acting. Well done. Well done, Wuklabat. You must flee, all of you. <laughs> the Lala fell speed. Princess Sphine! Are you unharmed? Oh, I am, thanks to you. My dearest Otis. <laughs> My dearest? And so, in no small part due to the valor of the royal knights, the kingdom succeeds in repelling the invaders. But their jubilation proves short-lived, for in mad defiance, the enemy unleashes a forbidden weapon which brings about a terrible calamity. Full many lose their lives. The good Queen Sphine, shining vision of hope among them. <gasps> no! Queen Sphine! Go to her! You're supposed to go to her! Hang on, he's having a PTSD flashback. Give him a second. <clears throat> and then, though the people grieved their queen's tragic passing, uh, guided by her legacy of compassion, oh boy, they um worked hand in hand to overcome an age of hardship, and in time, they built a peaceful and prosperous Alexandria. A new Alexandria. Wow, incredible. I mean, that's the gist of what happened, right? She skipped over the part where they made a clone of Sveen, or made a clone with Sveen's memories, put Otis in a robot, you know, had some unethical scientific Pray discoveries. forgive me. <laughs> the memories. They had me in a vice grip. All's well that ends well. I wouldn't dwell on it. If I may ask, during your improvisation, you spoke of a new Alexandria. 
And so I'm given to wonder. Do you hail from a time after my own? Who is he gonna tell? We do. And we're living people, not endless. Who is he gonna tell? He's about to peepo poof. My word. That I should meet the living in this place. There is another question I dread to speak aloud. A question I couldn't bring myself to pose to newcomers out of fear of the truth. Alexandria. Does it still exist? It does. It isn't quite the place you knew, but it endures. Mm. The descendants of your people walk its streets and live each day to the fullest as proud Alexandrians. They live. We live. I... I had failed to protect my queen, but to hear that, it brings me a measure of peace. You were there too, Otis. That is an incarnation of you. Of me? That's absurd. But pray, tell me, this incarnation of myself, what was he like? Exactly like you, but in a rusty robot. <laughs> He was a brave soul who protected his queen to the last. That's not all. He was a father in all but name to the new king, Kululja. Whatever you may have failed to do, you're the noblest of souls, Otis. And your deeds, your sacrifice, gave us hope that we sorely needed. <laughs> Ah, ah. It is a miracle. Verily, there can be no other way to describe it. It is. It really is. We bear the legacy of your other self, and we'd be glad to bear yours as well. My, what comfort you offer. With such dependable souls to take up my shield, I may rest easy indeed. And rest you shall. <clears throat> I beg you, watch over our new king. <laughs> the war changed my queen. To her final moment, grief darkened her gentle countenance. Mm. I've not the honor of knowing Galul Ja, but I pray that for all his days, he shall have cause to smile. <laughs> We'll see to it he does, Otis. I swear. Dang right. No explanations are required. I have intuited your purpose. There are paths only the living may walk. Mine was a tumultuous life, replete with joy and sorrow both. But it ends on... Oh, he's so smart, dude. It ends on a bright note, thanks to you. If I have one regret, however, it is that I could not meet the new king. Send him my regards, won't you? Oh, and just like that, all my feels come rushing back. It was feeling pretty, like, happy noted, but now it's bittersweet. Because when we step back out of here, it's all gonna be dark again. That night, he was the one who looked after Gululja. And now you follow in his footsteps. And those of others as well. We've come to know how much Sveen's people loved her. How much they yearned for peace. All of this will carry with us. Waking up from a sweet dream to bitter reality. But I'll never forget my time with the Endless, or the pain I feel now. We're more than memories stored in machines. So long as someone remembers us and carries on our legacy, we'll never truly fade away. 
We still have a ways to go. Let's keep moving. No! No! <laughs> the sanctuary, the strong level 100! Mm -hmm.